On this episode of Greco Fabulous, the boys put a bow on Retropalooza Day 1 by being cast in the Game Chasers movie. And then start Day 2 by peeing their pants on their very first panel. Other than that, uh, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Hey everybody, Greco Fabulous here, and when we last left off, we were wheeling and dealing at Retropalooza in Arlington, Texas. And we're about to head out, when Billy from the Game Chasers pulled us onto the casting couch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what time? Extras? Hell yeah. Uh, it depends on when the cinematographer shows up. Okay. But it's probably the 4 o'clock range, okay. 3, four, anywhere between 3 yeah. and 5. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. I mean, I'm, I'm at your mercy wherever you want to ship me off. A role in the Game Chasers movie? Absolutely! Wow, I guess this is one of the perks of being friends with Craig from Not Another Retro Channel. I, I'm here with, with Craig, like, Nart, uh, another retro channel. He, he came to pick me up from here. Craig. Craig. Not another uh, retro Well, not only is this embarrassing, but it's starting to put some doubt in my mind. Is his name really Craig? How well do we know him? Sure, he has 8,000 subscribers, but what if he murdered them all? And his family? What if they're being held against their will? You know, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure his wife was trying to send me a message for Morse code. Can I give you guys, like, a shirt of my channel? Would that be okay? Okay, Ed, let's go now before you embarrass yourself. I didn't hate you, man. This is a guy from uh, Belgium. I'll tell you about Oh, from Belgium? Oh, hey! Yeah. Like, he came a long way. He do it, like, on his own. Belgians are so pushy, huh? They're so pushy. Could you do that horizontal? <laughs> you see any cowboys yet? Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Like, all we did was like go garage sailing and went to some retro shops yesterday. Oh, yeah? So I'm only in until Monday morning. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Just really for the convention. Funny they did a garage sale? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. did really good. Kind of someone's <laughs> attic. <laughs> it was awesome. You, wait, wait, you went into someone's attic? Yeah. Yeah. Like you just ran him? Well, the guy was... I had so them distract him while I just went up. <laughs> he just went like... But uh, he brought them like uh, a box of Nintendo games, so it was cool. Like, was it any N64. 64. Wait, I think I saw your picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. It was like Damn, man. 17 N64 games, like two cards. So you found more stuff in that day than we have in the six months. Let the record show that Billy pretty much just admitted that we're better than the Game Chasers. Here comes the YouTube dollars! Can you like hear this for today? Yeah. Craig, you sold the company, let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. You're still here? <laughs> okay, so I don't have much behind the scenes Game Chaser movie footage to share. And even if I did, I wouldn't want to spoil their thunder. But all I will say is that it was a really fun experience and I really hope that I make Final Cut. Especially since I kind of abandoned Ed and Narc to get to the front of the line. And there he's walking off again. <laughs> so after we wrapped up on set, we went to the Retropalooza after party being held at Free Play Arlington. A really cool retro arcade where every game was set to, wait for it, Free Play. All right guys, we're gonna play some X-Men. The arcade. Narc's already going without us. This is unlimited play, so guaranteed to beat it. Magneto, we're coming for you. Ed's being a tourist. <laughs> we're so weird. Here we go. Had a lot of fun playing beat em ups with other YouTube personalities and friends, and getting to urinate in the vicinity of Billy Mitchell. Craig just yeah. had a thrill of a lifetime. Looks Tell us what happened. Yeah. So, just met the King of Kong right there. Billy Mitchell. Undisputed? <laughs> some say it is so, some say it's not. But another lucky guy got the pee right next to him. Yeah. This yeah. Guy. I mean, in the vicinity, but. 
in the Pacific. We didn't cross streams or anything. <laughs> Don't cross the streams, Peter. <laughs> Admittedly though, that night, I was feeling a little off and kind of nauseous. I mean, I don't think I did anything to get myself pregnant, at least up to that point. So I was hoping that maybe I was just overtired and needed to sleep it off. I mean, I really didn't want this to spoil my big panel debut in the morning. I had a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> that's, that's what you want to know? Your manager said you were sick. Yeah, I had a lot of diarrhea. Uh, yeah, I had an idea and then, uh... Oh, well, it's funny. So I didn't really know what to expect with the panel, and my biggest fear was that we would be talking to a room full of empty chairs. But it actually turned out pretty amazing. We had a decent turnout, the people seemed engaged, Nark did a great job of moderating, my fellow panelists had great anecdotes and perspectives to share, and I even made a few funnies. And I like adult collectibles. Wait, pause. Huh? What, what kind? <laughs> what, what, wait, wait. Define, define adult collectibles. We, we can't call them toys anymore, so. Oh, that's true. That is so true. Yeah, but when you say adult collectibles, that don't sound like... Yeah, are they sensitive. battery operated? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are. You want to buy a lot. So you keep what you want, sell the rest, so the yeah, hobby right. just reinvests in itself. Yeah. Yep. So you're not just hemorrhaging money. Right. Um, which is how I kind of, again, justify it, where I'm not like, hey kids, we can't eat tonight. You know, Daddy, but you're gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, um, with YouTube's uh, new policy on toy videos, uh, how do you think it will impact your channel? Yeah, I, I'm actually, I'm really concerned about it. Um, so it's just, it's gonna be really hard to, like, where am I gonna get that $50 a year? <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to say thank you to Jay from the Game Chasers and Narc for making this all possible. Absolutely the biggest thrill for me on my Texas vacation. And finally, some validation for this crazy YouTube life of mine. Hey look ma, I made it. Everything's coming up aces. Not the idea. All right, so now that we slayed him and scraped up some new subscribers, let's see what last minute deals we can pull off. How much are the games with water damage? <laughs> okay, so I didn't get any footage of me closing out any last minute deals, so here's Greco Fabulous starring Ed. All right, what are you thinking, Ed? Can I can I get it for three? For three? I'm not you. I'm, I'm oh, that doesn't hurt to ask, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try it for thirty. If I don't get it for thirty, I'm not gonna buy you. Yeah. I can promise to myself. Suspense is killing me. We use dollars here. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. It's nice. Okay. It's nice. Say, it does come with a case. A little protective. Yeah. That's at least 20 That's right there. There we <laughs> go. Throwing money down. I don't like recognize this money. It's so weird. Like, I don't recognize the money. Alright. Place from Belgium. Here's Ed breaking up a deal. I was trying to sell it to these nice gentlemen, but he just swooped in and now he's making a play for Wario Land. There's no there's no honor amongst thieves, you know what I mean? Hey, nice though. No browsing, only buying. This isn't a library. Gender isn't even here. <laughs> Look at those high glossy pages. I'm reaping the benefits without paying. Yeah, yeah. he's learning. learning. He's learning. It's actually nice. I'm, I'm a thinking computer. And starring in The Wizard. So I didn't feel like getting all chest strapped up. So unfortunately, I don't have video evidence of these deals going down. But if you take my word for it and indulge me for a second, I will let you know that I got this carded Maximum Carnage figure for three dollars. 
Yes, I haggled two dollars off because that's what I do. And my last attempt was throwing a Hail Mary for this Transformer shield. I had no idea what it was, and the asking price was fifteen dollars. So I basically went up to the guy and said, hey, listen, I'm from Boston, I'm about to leave the convention, and I gotta find some way to bring this home with me. Would you take five? And he did. I still have no idea where this came from, so if you guys can help Agreco out, please leave a comment below. Get that camera out of my face! No unwanted YouTube footage! Alright guys, that's finally going to be it for my Retropalooza adventure, and it was a pretty unforgettable experience overall. I mean, it was a convention, it was a panel, it was a movie set, it was a YouTube meet em up, all rolled into one. All these different flavors combined to give a small taste of the awesomeness that is my life. So I want to thank everyone that made it possible, and I want to thank you guys for joining me along the way. That sounded sincere, right? Good. Bye. Yeah. So I'm ge geeking out, like totally geeking out. I know. I, I kind of want to put you on the spot. <laughs> so the movie making too expensive. She's like, I brought some towels. Oh, that's cool. Like, that's cool. Yeah. I got that one. Can't go travel and take trash. Actually, I got both of these. Stop. Never played that. That's pretty cool. Oh, awesome. <laughs>